Okay, so now we're going to talk about box and whisker plots, okay, which is just another way that you can represent uh, a bunch of data. <clears throat> okay, so a box plot or a box and whisker plot shows a five number summary above a number line. So the number line summary includes the minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, which is the maximum. Okay, so... Um, this is the way it looks. So you're, you have a number line on here. You have your box, which includes, this is your Q1 uh, right here. This is your Q2 right here. Here's your Q3. Here's your Q4. And uh, this number over here is your minimum. Okay, and the box represents the middle 50% of your data. Here's 25%, here's 25%, here's 25%, here's 25%. And a lot of times what people do is they'll take the mean and they'll put a little asterisk somewhere uh, on here. Uh, so let's say the mean was like 60, you just put a little asterisk right there at 60. Okay. So here's the following set of data. So uh, 11, 14, 15, 12, 16, 12, 16, 14, 20. So first thing, write the new set of numbers uh, from the problem from uh, least to greatest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So my lowest number is 11. Then I've got two 12s. I've got two 14s. A 15. Two 16s and a 20. Okay, so mission one accomplished. So the minimum is going to be uh, 11. Q4 is the maximum. That's going to be 20. Okay, the middle one, always find Q2, okay, before you find Q1 and Q3. So I've got, uh, what, three, five, seven, nine numbers. So the middle one's going to be uh, 14 there. It's going to be the fifth one. So there's my uh, Q2. And then uh, Q1 is going to go with this. Q1 is going to go with these numbers right here. So it's going to be between those, which is just going to be 12. And um, Q3 is going to be the middle of those two, which is easy also. It's going to be 16. So draw a box and whisker plot. Okay, so my minimum is going to be at 11. So it's going to be right here. And my Q1 is going to be a 12, so it's going to be right here. My Q2 is going to be a 14 right here. My Q3 is going to be a 16 right here. And my Q4 is going to be 20 right here. So my box looks like that, and my whiskers look like that. And I'm done. If I wanted to find the average of those numbers, I could find those, and I could put that on my box plot, too. I'm guessing it's going to be shifted a little bit this way. Okay. All right, use the following data. Write the new set of numbers from least to greatest. Find each number in the five-number summary and mark its location on the list of numbers you just wrote above. Draw a box and whisker plot. So I'm going to let you pause the video here and do this on your own. And then uh, come back when you're done and take a look and compare it to what I got. So go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so I'm going to first rewrite the numbers here. So 10 is my lowest number. I've got two 11s, a 12, two 12s, uh, three 17s. Night. 
Okay, Q4 is easy, that's 19. Uh, the minimum is easy, that's 10. Okay, so then I've got, what, two, four, six, eight, nine numbers. So the fifth one is going to be, there's Q2. It's going to be 12. I'm going to take these numbers right here, find the middle. That's going to be Q1. That's 11. I'm going to take these numbers over here, find the middle. That's Q3. That's going to be 17. Draw a box and whisker plot. Okay, so that's going to start out at uh, 10. I'm going to have another one at 11. I'm going to have Q2 at 12. Q3 at 17. So there's my box. Uh, Q4 is 19. There's one whisker. There's the other whisker. Done. Rod was researching gas prices in example number four. I skip a page. I uh, found a box and whisker plot as shown here. Find the interquartile range. Okay, so interquartile range is really easy. It's going to be Q3, which is right here, minus Q1, which is right here. So the interquartile range is going to be 55 minus 23, which is going to be 32. Done. So this is the interquartile range right here. Now the actual range is going to be, would be this. So that'd be uh, the range would be 72 minus 11, which would be 61. Make sure not to confuse the interquartile range and the range. The following box of whisker plot gives the purchase prices of cars of 114 seniors at Milwaukee High School. Are any of the car prices outliers? <clears throat> okay. So we've got a Q1 is right here at 5,200. We've got a Q2 right here is 7,000. We've got a Q3 right here at 9,100. Whoops. And we've got a Q4 at 43,000 out here. Somebody got a nice car. Okay, so we're going to find the interquartile range. So that's going to be uh, 9,100 minus 5,200. So that's going to be uh, $3,900. Okay, we're going to take Q3, which is 9,100. We're going to add 1.5 times the interquartile range of 3,900. So that's going to be 9,100 plus 1.5 times 3,900. It's going to be 14,950. Okay, so anything above 14,950 is going to be an outlier, and there is at least one. Now, I don't know how many there are in between here. Um, 25% of the data is between here and here, but I don't know where it is. It could all be like right here with just one out here, or it could be all spread out. There might be more than one, but I know that there is at least one, and that one is going to be the 43,000. Okay? Now you're going to do pages 12 and 13 of your packet, which I have not attached yet, but I will attach before I send this to you. Um, and plus you can find it in Google Classroom. So thanks a lot, and I will see you next time.